United Nations Watch, video message. Video message. Madam President, United Nations Watch welcomes this debate over the report on the human rights record of Kyrgyzstan. We note that of the 89 countries' statements in the report, no less than 78 praise the government's human rights record. Let us reconsider the report's claims. First, in paragraph 121, the report quotes the government claiming that they are trying to form a trilingual generation of citizens which will preserve the native language of ethnic communities. The truth, however, is that the government suppresses the culture and opportunity of Uzbek children by mandating high school examinations to be in Kyrgyz or Russian languages. According to the State Statistics Committee, the number of Uzbek schools for grades 1 through 11 fell from 141 in 2002 to just 43 by 2018. Second, in paragraph 129, we are told that the Constitution protects journalists. In fact, however, the Kyrgyz government curtails freedom of expression using vague counterterrorism laws to block internet access, shut down independent news agencies like Fergana, and arrest or exile journalists like Ulubek Babakulov. Third, in paragraph 132, we are told that the new code of criminal procedure had established that evidence obtained through torture was inadmissible. Why then did the Kyrgyz Supreme Court just this May uphold the unjust sentence against human rights activist Asmajin Askarov? This was done in contempt of the UN Human Rights Committee, which found that he had been arbitrarily detained, held in inhumane conditions, tortured, mistreated, and prevented from accurately preparing a defense trial. Tragically, just two months ago, he died in prison. We ask Kyrgyzstan, when will you release others convicted through the use of torture? We ask this entire council, does a report that overwhelmingly praises the Kyrgyzstan human rights record accurately reflect the situation on the ground? I thank you, Madam President. Gracias, International